We give you all the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you, we give you all the glory. We worship. Thank you so much. I think we appreciate the praise and worship and Wamai. As we read the word of God from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 6, verse number 10, the Bible reads, if the sound is good, if it's bad, how is the sound? Good. Very nice. So we are reading only two verses. Um, uh, Deuteronomy chapter number 6, verse number 10. My Bible reads, It shall be when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land which he sowed to thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities which thou buildest not. Verse number 11, and houses full of good things, which thou fieldest not, and wells digged, which thou diggest not, vineyards and olive trees, which thou plantest not. When thou shalt have eaten and be full, verse number 12 of the last one, then beware lest thou forget the Lord which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him and shall swear by his name. Amen. That is the word of God. Tell your neighbor that is the word of God. Tonight I want to make only one point. Tell your neighbor one point. Ah, Bia Jirani, one point. Wa James, Abia Mtoto, one point. Abia Mtu, one point. Wa Maya, Abia Tony, one point. Mobia Ache Kuchat, we are making one point. Hallelujah. Just one point. We are in the era of Maboni Matatu. <laughs> Everybody is trying to compete with our president to make three things. Eh? But today, tonight, I want to make one point. And maybe if time allows, we can make two points. And maybe if still time allows, we can make three points. But I'm interested in making only one point. I have read the word of God today. These are the times of Moses in the book of Deuteronomy. It is like remembering. It is like they are being reminded. It's the book of remembrance. Deuteronomy means remembrance. Kiswahiri inasemanga kubuku, kubukubu ya torati. So these guys, it's like they were being reminded of what God had promised when they were in the land of bondage, when they were living in the land of Egypt, when they did not know how they would leave bondage, how they would live there. But there was a promise. Hallelujah. The Bible has said, and it shall be. That means it shall happen. Tell your neighbor, it shall happen. Hallelujah. It shall be when the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into a land where he saw to your fathers. It was a promise. Already God has promised them that he is going to give them a land which is full of milk, which is full of honey. A good land. Praise the name of the Lord. As you are seated there, 
there is a promise that God has kept in your life. There is a promise that God has made in your life. Since that day you became born again and you believed God. There is something he planted in you. And this verse will come to mature. It shall be. Hallelujah. Because it looked so long time ago when these people were promised. And they were told it shall be. One day will come when I shall take you to a land where you will live in houses that you have not built. Hallelujah. You will plant vineyards that you, you will sow from vineyards that you have not planted. Hallelujah. So the point that I want to make is before I forget my one point and you tell your neighbor achieving tell your neighbor achieving without labor tell him convincingly be convincing because it shall happen in your life and you will remember this message tonight achieving without labor kupata bila kazi bila kutia bidii sana Hallelujah. Achieving without labor. These guys were promised a promise that they did not believe in. But this word is now telling us that it shall be that that day will come when you will live in houses that you have not built. Hello? Achieving without labor. If you imagine how far you have labored to get a plot for those of us who own plots. How hard it has been how uh, uh, how how hard it was to save enough money wamai for your mom to buy that kaplot i know there is a history tony for that kaplot that you live in there how it was acquired it is there is a story to that mama james mahali pale pale eh nakumbuka takale kashamba yetu na pale juja you know there is a history to that but the Bible is telling us it shall come to pass that there is a day that we shall achieve without labor. Do you know every day we wake up to push our bodies to work, to put hard labor so that we eat, so that we dress well, so that we live comfortably, so that we drive good cars. But these guys were promised a life of achieving without labor labor tell your neighbor achieving without labor as people who are spiritual we know we know that sometimes the work that we do is not because we qualified hello yeah i remember stories kim's story when he was working somewhere and he was pestering me every day asking me how much is a small car you see, he already had a dream. I know maybe the way he achieved that car. He has a story to tell. As who are spiritual, what about to ko Dania Roho, to ko watu akiroho. We know that the things that we do, even the business that I run, it is not because of all that effort that I've been putting in life. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Ah -ah. Hallelujah. The others who have tried. Others have even acres of land. Others have built posh offices. The others who are trying even to borrow hefty loans to start a business that is profitable. And it's not happening. Hallelujah. But for a spiritual man who knows that there is a realm, tell your neighbor, there is a realm. There is a realm. Yeah, there is a realm of God's people hallelujah where we achieve without labor where others labor so much to achieve amen hallelujah don't think like it is your effort to make sure that this church is standing no it isn't it is a realm of God's people it is a realm that we are living in where others have tried even to come and copy this design. 
so that they can go and plant it somewhere. Yeah? They take this realm somewhere else and it's not working. Others have borrowed. Others have used all means possible, available, to make sure that they are succeeding, but they are not. Praise the name of the Lord. Remind your friend there is a realm of God's people. Hallelujah. Now the danger is, as they were told, they were told, when that happens, do not forget the Lord your God. Praise the name of the Lord. If you want to live in a realm of God's people, if what you are doing today, you are feeling challenges, check the realm. Are you still in the realm of God's people? Hallelujah. If you are feeling like, hey, are you still in the realm? Check yourself whether you have forgotten. Hallelujah. In the book of Judges chapter number 6, there is a story of a guy called Gideon. And you know that story very well. Hallelujah. He was living in a realm of fear. He was hiding. The Bible says he was hiding in the wine press. Hallelujah. A guy who was in the eyes of God, a mighty man of Vara, was hiding in a wine press. There was so much pain in his, in his days. He was in so much pain himself because of his clansmen. They used to hear about a God who used to do mighty things for them, but he was nowhere to be seen. They were like captives. The Philistines were ruling over them, destroying their crops until God came and told him, you are a mighty man of Varro. But my point is where he took the army now. Iyo igine story yote munajua. Vile aliwekea mungu wata mtihani. Leo kunyeshe padehi, padehi kukue kumekauka. Na yote ikakua mzuri. But there is this place where he was told to take the army now to battle. He had 30,000 men. God told him, no, these are too many for me to achieve the victory that I want over the Philistines. Praise the name of the Lord. Then he remained with, uh, I think, how many more? Walichujua marangapi? Marambiri. We don't have time to read all those scriptures. Walichujua marambiri. Akabiu hawa niwengi sana. Until he remained with only 300. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I don't know whether we are getting it. Only 300 men. Only 300 men. Against 135 for the Philistines. Achieving without labor. Hallelujah. God wanted to show him. It is not by might. It is not by your power. It is not by what you've had. It is not by what has happened. It is by this moment, this present. I'm giving you victory without labor. Tell your neighbor, remain in the realm. <coughs> Hallelujah. Because this is a realm. A realm of God's people. He prepares it. I don't know what you're going through. Actually, I don't know. I don't know how hard you're fighting. To survive. I don't know. But I want you to remind her and to be reminded and to be convinced that there is a realm of God's people where they achieve without labor. Where others labor so much. To do what? To achieve. People will look at you and they will see, no, this guy is evergreen. This guy does not change. This guy moves from glory to glory. They don't know that the difference between you and them is a realm. You live in a realm of God's people where you achieve without labor, where others labor so much to achieve. Hallelujah. You may ask, how do I live in a house that I have not built? How do I uh, 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 harvest a vineyard that I have not planted? How can that happen? I believe you, Lord, and I glorify your name. Tonight, may you bless your people. May you pick them.
to another level. May you take them to a realm where they will achieve without labor. You know, whatever they do in their lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen and amen. So we invite the man of God. He is coming with a fresh anointing all the way from southern Sudan. Yeah. Let's invite him. Amen. You can appreciate uh, Elder Njoko. Amen. Give him a good round of applause. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. And just before we conclude, I would like us to make uh, one more prayer that the Lord will raise us to that realm, that realm of achieving without labor. In fact, it's possible because God told the Israelites, when you go in that land, when you are there, you may eat from vineyards that you did not plant, drinking from wells that you did not dig, living in houses that you did not build. And with God, all things are possible. And it requires some kind of crazy faith for us to achieve that level because some, sometimes we believe this is fantasy this is excitement uh, this is an illusion of things that do not exist uh, but I tell you with God all things are possible in the name of Lord Jesus Christ uh, you lift up your hands uh, as a faith and tell the Lord raise me to that realm in the name of Jesus Christ give me the strength oh dear Lord I don't want just to hear others being raised. I don't want just to hear others achieving without labor. I don't want just to hear others getting there while I am missing out. I want to be in that list of great achievers with minimal labor in the name of Jesus Christ. And because you are able, Lord, may you do it for me. May you do it for me. You have done it for others in the past. And I know you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And you are able to do it, our Lord and Savior. I give you praise and I give you honor, Heavenly Father, for you are helping us in this generation to be achievers. As you say to the children of Israel, oh dear Lord, what you have said, you are able to fulfill it and to perform it. As you say then to Jeremiah, that you are watching to see that you perform your word. I pray in the name of Jesus, may you achieve that word in our lives. In the name of Jesus, we don't want to just to be speaking about it as just a story of the Old Testament. We don't want to be hearing it that something that happened in the past. We don't want to be fantasizing about it, but we want to live in that realm, to experience it. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, we believe, we believe that it's possible. In the name of Jesus. Uli sema utatenda na umetenda Uli sema utatenda na umetenda Uli
has come to pass. What you said that you will do, you have done it. Jehovah, I know there are desires thrown in this house. Everyone has desires and you are able to meet them. Therefore, we thank you. Because my father, you are going to meet those desires as you have said in your